Okay, we're getting a new and more clear view of the man who police say brutally stomped on an Asian American man in East Harlem. This video here shows that suspect inside a store Friday night. Police say other surveillance video shows him knocking that 61 year old victim to the ground and then kicking him in the head multiple times. News 4's Erica Byfield talked with neighbors and has their reaction. This new video from police helps quite a bit. We now know that he was wearing a very distinct hat. This guy having a casual conversation in a bodega is the same person that police say viciously stomped on the head of a 61 year old Asian man. The horrific assault happened Friday night in Harlem at the corner of 125th Street and 3rd Avenue, where today we found a stop Asian hate poster. The victim was collecting cans here when that attacker shoved him to the ground. You mean to tell me he was picking up bottles outside and they beat him? Wow. Joanna Tucker lives in the same building as the victim and his wife. She says they just moved in. Police tell us that her neighbor remains in the hospital in a medically induced coma. I didn't think nobody would bother them. They're so quiet. They don't bother nobody. Hmm. The newly released images of the suspect give us a better look at him. That night, he had on a black jacket and pants, white shoes, and a multicolored hat. On Twitter, the mayor called the attack outrageous, and he reassured shaken New Yorkers that the city's hate crimes task force is investigating. On Sunday, we found out that the governor wants hate crimes investigators at the state level involved, too. He's offering their assistance. Andrew Cuomo added this. This is not who we are as New Yorkers, and we will not let these cowardly acts of hate against members of our New York family intimidate us. As we know, this is an issue across the city, and so for that very reason, the Hate Crimes Task Force is going to host a seminar in Bayside, Queens, to talk about that and self-defense on May 2nd. From Harlem, Erica Byfield, News 4, New York.